Uh, my name is Oma Lava for all those that wanna know Got a YouTube stepping insta that I named the Omo Show Where I clearly spit the flow, show you around the life I chose So at me if you wanna see how far the story goes Family, funny, random moment of sharing So, um, on one of my videos I got a comment from somebody who was saying You're, you're way too masculine to be straight I thought you were a stud, right? And um, for those who don't know, because not everybody knows, like, the uh, LGBTQ community lingo, to be a stud is, like, a girl who um, is a lesbian and dresses more masculine than feminine in many ways. When he said that, I had to laugh because I literally never heard that before in my life. Like, I definitely heard that I look like... I like girls, but I never heard that I look so masculine or I seem <laughs> so masculine that I'm supposed to be a stud. So anyways, I don't get offended by things like that. For me, man, the multi-dimensionality of the black woman is just crazy. Like, what I love about being a woman, being a black woman, is knowing and being aware of my masculine or supposed to be masculine qualities given the experiences that many of us have had you know many of us have dealt with single mothers or single grandmothers as I have and you know seeing a woman pretty much do everything on her own many of us may have played sports growing up which I have and uh, many of us have brothers or, you know, different things that contribute to our style, the way we end up becoming, and certain things is just a part of us from junk. You know, when I was a kid, I played basketball, and um, I used to love wearing my baggy clothes then, and I love my baggy clothes now. But the thing is, it's so funny because, yes, I have those moments where I really like to dress from the boys or the men's section but then I have those moments like right now where I'm wearing a skirt and just a, a cami so first off just know that everything isn't isn't as black and white you know as some people try to make it seem you know there is multi-dimensionality in all of us even men you know they are feminine um there's feminine energy that lives within men. You know, every man has a different amount of feminine energy, just as every woman has a different amount of masculine energy. But the bottom line is that there has to be both masculine and feminine occupying a space in order for there to be some type of balance. So, um, me personally, I'm just one of those people that embrace, I embrace my, um, both sides of myself I don't try to be a man or try to be or try to be overly masculine nor do I try to be real ladylike or uh prissy I'm surely not that you know I'm just me and that's what I love is that me is all encompassing you know and I can be anything I am everything I am all that there is you feel me um not everybody gets to that place where they can embrace it so not everybody is allowing their true selves to show through to the world in both their feminine and masculine aspects, no matter um, whether they a man or a woman. But at the end of the day, that's something that I like to do. And um, I encourage all my people, not just women, but men too. Certain things that y'all do is not cool. Like y'all pride that sometimes gets in the way of your relationships that's like real overly masculine and it's something that it's not cool and it's not going to work long term so you're going to have to somehow be able to come to grips with the softer parts of you the more feminine aspects of you and um embrace those things you know because that makes us the whole that we're supposed to be that's all i wanted to say that was real random um, but I just want to start, like I say, making videos a little bit more often. And you know when I'm just thinking about y'all. So, I just did. Alright, y'all. Got any questions, concerns, want me to make a video about certain, uh, something in particular, let me know. 
In the meantime, peace, love, black power all day, every day, ain't no other way, okay?